What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great finally freaking Friday. Man, the weather is changing. You know, yesterday was like in the mid-50s. Today, it is chilly, and you can feel the cold kind of coming in. It's going to be cold as crap in Kansas City. In fact, it's going to be cold here and possibly a snowstorm uh, Tuesday. And um, we're going to keep watching for all that. Apparently, there is a storm, Storm A.J. Brown, that is flowing into Philadelphia. Allegedly, A.J. Brown, who hurt his knee, hurt his knee, was not at practice today. We talking about practice, not, not, not the game, not the game. He wasn't at practice today, and his Instagram, see, this, this is where it's funny to me because how times have changed, where when you want to send a message, you just delete your content, uh, your content on Instagram. And there is no mention of anything Eagles-wise on A.J. Brown's Instagram. So that's not good because they signed him to a $100 million, $100 million contract with $56 million fully guaranteed. And hypothetically, let's say that this is a divorce, that this is a divorce between the Eagles and A.J. Brown. His dead money hit is $42 million for next year. That's pre-June 1st. If it ends up being a post-June 1st, um, it's $11 million. Of course, they're putting that off for multiple years. Um, if he's traded, wow, they don't save anything really by trading him. The best bet they can do is make him a post-June 1st cut. So we'll see what happens right there with the Eagles. Things have, wow, things have literally fallen apart for the Eagles. Uh, the word is, is that um, Nick Sirianni is coaching for his job. Um, without A.J. Brown, with Jalen Hurts with a hurt finger, and them literally losing to everybody, it's not good for the Eagles in any stretch of the imagination. It is just bad. Um, you may be looking at the Eagles tearing this whole thing up and starting all over. And that's not what you thought was going to happen when you were going into the season. In fact, in the middle of the season, I've never seen a team fall apart so quickly as we have with the Eagles. This is just insane that literally they were 10-1, and one, shoe in for the number one seed, and now we're talking about their star player, deleting all of his eagle content and the coach about to be fired so couldn't happen to a nicer team anyway i've got to finish packing up my shit and head back home uh where we'll be watching football tomorrow i'm mark holmes and i'll see you guys soon